Welcome back adventurers to the continuing adventures of the Queens, the Warrior Queens of the Mediterranean. And we have a uh, relatively new queen, a young Queen Constantini. Constantini is pregnant again. She's 29 years old. She has been nicknamed Constantini with the lock because she romanced her husband and he wanted her to wear a lock of his hair to uh, express uh, their devotion to each other. But she's cynical, she's content, and she's sadistic. She's also loyal. It's uh, a complicated and interesting character, I suppose. She also has a master of intrigue. Awed by beauty, she heard the music of otherworldly beauty. She has insight in the heavens, uh, meaning literally the stars and planets and stuff. And uh, she has focused reading. Last time we made some uh, alliances, right? We have uh, an alliance with the King of France and with the King of Italia. So, our son Nikitas is married to, or not married, betrothed to Gerberg of France. And then we have uh, another Nikitas, our father, who is married into the court of Italy. Even though they appear more German than Italian, Lombardia, yeah, of course. Okay. So there is that. Uh, since we are content, I don't think uh, Constantini is going to focus too much on waging wars. We have a, we have a good realm. It stretches all across the Mediterranean. Uh, we should build it up, right? We should build it up, yeah. A warm welcome. So let's start with a feast. It was the Countess of Meliti of Malta that invited us. Every guest is gathered in the Great Hall and our gracious host Countess Ekaterini has welcomed us all to the feast. I look forward to this. Even though I'm, uh, I'm highly pregnant. Oh, what kind of meat is this? So rich in flavor. What are these vegetables? Almost sweet. Oh, and these wonderful little desserts. This feast is some of the best food I ever tasted. Delightful. We got life reaffirmed. Health boost. 50% less stress gain. That is nice. Uh, Dukes of Dionysia has uh, completed her task. Uh, to convert faith, all right. Um, faction has disbanded. That is excellent too. Yeah, we said it's excellent. Just wait a moment until I reassign you to convert faith. Where we're making good progress. Um, yeah, we could either go here with the the Greek Orthodox ones, or the uh, the Muslims here in Egypt or Palestine. Um. I think right now the Delta is more uh, important to us. Right. Yeah, the one thing that is still a bit weird is uh, Tunis, right here. They still have their own culture, which means they still have patrilineal succession. Look at the hotel. Apparently, said Katerina had too much to drink, even though she insisted on showing us how sober she was. Simply rising from her seat proved too much for her, and now I am covered in stinking vomit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Katerina. Or oh, how about the show you put it? No, we are a bit um, sadistic, right? So we would like to uh, rub it in. You should be ashamed of yourself. As one plate of food is replaced by the next, my vessel card is a goes on and on about theological treatises. And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lady? No, no, please do go on. Why don't we talk more about you instead? Grow close to forming a French man. Or are you making a fool of yourself? Could never bore me. Mm. 
But would we say that to our host, though? And publicly ridicule her? That is a bit much, maybe. Why don't we talk more about you instead? And returning home. And I think I need to do something about her dress. She has the two ones mixed. What a feast I will remember the day spent in Curtis Alcaterivis Halls for a long time to come. Now it's time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as Lady of the Realm. Farewell, my vessel. And uh, we gain architectural expertise. Stewardship plus one, that's very nice. Okay, you, my dear, have this weird one where um, these are mixed. So if we do no clothes for here, then we get this one, which looks more interesting, I think. Okay. And her heir is Anthe, who is 13, who is also sadistic, and has no uh, intelligence traits. Hmm. That is uh, a pity. Yeah, he does, but... Nope. Neither of them got it. Oh well, that's the way. Life. We finished promoting culture in Tunis. Excellent. So if that is the case... Yeah, he is still Baranis. But the county is now Mediterranean. Mm, we should see if we can replace him. Although his heir is a Mediterranean and he's a Zara. Okay. We should probably marry him into our dynasty somehow. Right? Because after him, it will, it will be um, matrilineal, right? female preference succession. Do we have anyone in our court? Oh, we have a cousin here, for example. Yeah, that seems to be the only one that is like has good traits. This should be a normal marriage so that his, uh, what he inherits will be their child's. I think this is the way it should be, anyway. Right, because he will inherit from his dad and his mom, apparently. She is the Countess of Corinthos. And he is the Count of Tunis. How did that happen? Oh well. Promote culture. Do we still want to promote culture? I mean... There is still en enough to do. Yeah, probably Caralis. It's now Greco-Nubian. Yeah. That should be our culture. But yeah, we do want to switch our steward to uh, increasing development, right? Because uh, that will improve uh, cultural development. We're getting these anyway. By, uh, by being exposed to it. Okay. We're... Yeah, we are working on this fascination. And then there is a lot more that would be useful. Okay, let's let's do this. Yeah. 
I have a right to promise to be a match to your glorious disports as a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honor. This is my aunt, Lucisa Dionysia. She is loyal. All right. She's allied to the Dukes of Delta. Mm -hmm. Show her in. And she takes the knee. Serve me well. She's also my core chaplain. Same. Schemer discovered. It is Avancia, the daughter of Count Nikitas of Nepat, and it's plotting against my guest book. Who cares? Um, and she no longer has a spouse. She should get married again, right? Okay, let's assign a guardian for this guy, little guy. Um, I'm not going to do that myself, sorry. Somebody else, like uh, Duke Sadionisia or Countess uh, Berjuhi. But she doesn't have a uh, Tashi. Oh, yes, yeah, she does have genius. Yeah, why don't you go to the Negev Desert? And your boot. Uh, or that one, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Wait, 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 wait. Count Algor Converted Culture. Can I please see this? Yeah, thank you. Why can't I see this? Count Agur of Tunis. Yeah, we were complaining about him. That he wasn't of our culture. But he only has the one child anyway, so his son will inherit. She is pregnant though, but it is a matrilineal marriage, right? So they will be of her line and not his line. And Hmm, not sure how that works. In this case, it seems he is going to inherit anyway. Okay. Then we're making progress there. And we can work on a... Carpayana. Carthage. Right. Shouldn't this be a holy site? Or is it Neapolis? No. This one, Tunis itself. It doesn't show up yet, but I think um, we can do this, right? The sanctification. We need uh, what? We need a thousand piety. We're missing a little. Okay. We can work on that. The snake at court. I recognize the anxious look on my servant's face. She's here to bring me bad news. My lady, you must come quickly. May I... Nizamadin of Takius was just seen leaving the chambers of your court of Bourgogne. Bourgogne, Bonifazi. That can only mean one thing. They are lovers. I wouldn't expose that. Let them be. I mean, what is there to gain from this? Why don't they get a choice in this? I mean, yes, I've ranted about this before, but that is one of my main gripes with this game. This game that I absolutely love. I mean, I have over 1500 hours in this over the past two years, so... Yeah. But having these events where I don't get a choice, that that's maddening, and especially because it, it doesn't always make sense within and the, the role play that I'm trying to do. Anyways, um, there is another scheme discovered. My vassal mayor Rasul is plotting against my courtier Johanna. Oh, why would you do that? And why is that of such importance that it needs to pause whatever I'm doing? Okay, I have a daughter. 
My relief is great and my joy even greater. I have given birth to a perfect little daughter. One day, child, you will carry on my legacy. What name would befit a despotisa? Well, Dante, that's pretty good. Julia Sibila. Gabrielia, Apollonia. Mm, Irini. She might not be as peaceful as that. And Damiani. I don't remember what this means, but I like the name. So let's go with Damiani. And we can unlock a new perk. Okay, so we're doing the scholar tree right now. Yeah, we could pick up a few more here, but that's not immediately of importance. Increase development in county efficiency. We're not doing that yet. Open-minded. Cultural opinion, acceptance, gain. We're also not working on that. Yeah, this would be nice to have. Although we're not really focused on expansion. So maybe we should unlock Iron Constitution, for example. Disease resistance. Hmm. I guess let's take this. It will be useful. Right? And go down this tree. But I've also been thinking, because we are a person interested in intrigue, right, we have this, uh, wait a moment here, um, Master of Intrigue. So, should we switch to an Intrigue lifestyle? I mean, this is also pretty related to intrigue, right? We could go like torturer or schemer at least. It's a bit weird, right? She is sadistic but content right so she's not very action oriented i would say what she already has been much or little is enough for her but then yeah when something happens she enjoys to see others suffer she's also cynical she trusts the self-interest of others above all else she doesn't really believe in higher motivations She's a novice hunter. Maybe we should go on a hunt. Right? Then at least she can uh, express that sadism onto the animals that she's hunting. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, if you have any ideas on how to play this character and move her forward, I'm interested in hearing your ideas. Child has grown up. Okay. Sidkit is related to us, right? Um, that was the, the husband of the first Isabel was from House Sidkit. Uh, he seems to be very decent. Very decent. Let's find him a decent wife. But yeah, not somebody from far away. It should be somebody from our culture. No. Nah. But our religion, yes. Okay.
maybe Damian I mean, she's also like nobody special, really. But at least then we're keeping it in the dynasty. Let's do that. A traveler from Neapolis, a Pelagia Focus. A renowned traveler named Pelagia Focus. Is it Focus or Focus? I forget. I should know this. This is a pretty famous name in uh, Byzantine history. I think it's Focus. Focus. Um, is settling down in Neapolis after many years of adventuring. Uh, currently, she's serving the community as an important leader in one of the major towns. Today, she's visiting my court, and based on our discussion so far, it appears she retains a lot of knowledge about the various lands she has traveled in, and she hopes to use it to assist her town in growing and developing. I'm glad such a talented person is in my realm. Or well, why don't you come to work for me instead? Um, she is good, but not that exceptional. I'm glad such a talented person is in my realm. She disappears without a trace, as such characters tend to do. Which is weird, but alright. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Gaza. It will be a grand affair worthy of your honorable presence. Countess Valeria of Gaza. Yes, for sure. It will be my pleasure. A warm welcome. Every guest is gathered in the great hall, and a gracious host, Countess Valeria, has welcomed us all to the feast. So we're now in, uh, in the east here. I look forward to this. And I learned the language. After lots of hard work, I finally learned the oil vulgar language. Endless hours of practicing accentuation, sleepless nights, mimicking inflection, countless lessons, mastering intonation. It was all worth it in the end. During my efforts, I looked to emulate Bourgogne's accent. I'm sure that you would be impressed with my results. And of course, French peasants now respect me a great deal more. I feel accomplished. I listen intently to Countess Valerie as she carelessly reveals all manner of things. Distracted by trying to get one last drop from her tankard, she's oblivious to how carefully I am paying attention. When she realizes, she starts getting up. Ah, I'm only rambling. It's not true anyways, any of it. They just happen to be very interesting rambles. She has an incestuous secret. Let me see here. Secrets. Incestuous with who? It doesn't show. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, we're still at this feast. That is uh, here in Gaza. That is very nice. A promise is a promise. Unconcerned with any etiquette, my vessel Countess Valeria slaps me on the back. I mean it, she exclaimed. I'll do anything you ask of me. Anything at all, ask me, and it is done. I can smell the alcohol on her breath, but a promise has been noted by every guest present. You're a woman of your word, aren't you? Now, what would we want from her? What a feast, I will remember today, spending Countess Valeria's halls of for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine, and once more, resume my duties as the Lady of the Realm. Farewell, my vassal. Okay, so we have some money here. Um, we can build another keep, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. This is my half sister of Asiliki. She's doing well. She's pregnant. Okay. And for some reason, this went to Dukes of Dionysia. Alright. And we're still not remarried. Okay. Uh, how about Karalis? We have the mine. We have the keep now here 
And we are upgrading the mine as we speak. Very good. Alexandria, maybe this one. Yes. Let's upgrade this. Great. Why would she do that? Mashaliti. By root. Is, the, is that the local culture? And I'm pregnant again? Yeah, okay. That's not right, uh, Curtis Theodora. That is not right. Yeah, your husband is also my nice Mediterranean. Why did you convert culture? That makes no sense. Because your culture does not allow women to inherit, I'm pretty sure. But she's still... She's still your heir. Yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I noticed that Damini was looking rather melancholy today, sighing a lot and heaving, having a clear expression of dejection and sorrow written on her face. Perhaps she's in a bad mood. Um, she's married now. Aren't you guys happy? What's what's going on? Say some comforting words. Leave her alone, or cruelly mock and laugh at her. Um. Let her be. I guess. We also have some special decisions, right? Uh, with uh, from the rice mod, like visit the fountain of the sun in Siva Oasis. We only need fifteen gold for that, but it, no, it costs more. Why does it require fifteen, but then it costs hundred seventy-five? Weird. Uh, Founder of the Sun is a famous spring in Siva and was mentioned by ancient sources such as Herodotus. Local folklore associates it with Cleopatra, who supposedly visited it often during her reign. For us to disclaim this question, one is probably exaggerated to attract modern tourists. Well, yes, but. I mean, Cleopatra. Can't hurt, right? To visit the Fountain of the Sun. To the fountain. Yeah. Maybe it will um, give us a blessing for our pregnancy. I have made arrangements to visit the Fountain of the Sun in Siva. Even in ancient times, your daughters praised its seemingly legendary ability to heal visitors. The local elders are more than happy to welcome me into their town, as it is a great honor for them. However, one question remains. Should I come there privately, or should this be a public affair? If I do the former, the townspeople will agree not to come to the area while I am there. If I do the latter, I will get to mingle with the locals. Um, do I want to do it in peace privately or share it with others? Hmm. I think I would try, uh, prefer to do this privately, right? Yeah. The sun. At last, the day has come and I arrive at the fountain of the sun in Siva. I spend a couple hours relaxing here, soaking myself in the waters and hoping they will rejuvenate my health. The day goes by quickly and soon it is time for me to go. I leave the springs refreshed and feeling like a new person. I hope to be back soon. Nice. 
And we have another child. Oh, he is pretty sinful. Um, why is he here? I guess, uh, yeah. Son of a knight. You son of a knight. I have no use for you. I don't. Unless there is another knight that you can get me. Huh. She is a uh, Amazonian though. And uh, Nisa, 13, no, no, let's get the Amazonian one, or Dante. She's a pretty uh, massive, if I may say so, but, uh, yeah, okay. As the order of the Knights of the Chalice grow, we need more land from which to organize our defense of the Mammaist faith. The city of Miletos is perfectly suited to our purpose. Um, really, that is part of Ionia. Uh-huh. Would Tinnis not serve as well? And where is that? Oh. There. Mm. No, that, that, in Ionia, that's fine with me. And they pay us a nice sum. Excellent. Hmm. Um, that means we can build some more keep. What about Jerusalem? We already did that. Yeah, and we still build the royal forests here. Is this for the whole county? County holding taxes plus 20%, development growth plus 20%. Mm. Should I build another... What? Castle? Temple? Or city? What do you think? Leave a comment. Alexandria, yeah, we're building here, and then our holdings are over here, right? We're building here, improving the mines, Panamos, our capital, mm -hmm. we're still building here as well. No. Let's upgrade the Syracuse castle. And... Neapolis. Yep. Okay, there we go. What is this? I cannot stand this imprisonment any longer. Would you accept this offer for my, in return for my freedom? Ah, you can finally pay a hundred gold. Yes, I will accept that. Do I have anyone left in my prison? You? You're useless. And you, you're actually a pretty good knight, but you're close to death. Well, he's not gonna recover, is he? Infected wound. He's been spending years in the dungeon. I should have got him out earlier. Uh Well, let's see. Um, not for a weak hook. Let's recruit him. 
and then maybe our court uh, physician can work wonders with him, but probably not. Feast it to Zur. We don't really like you. No, I have more important matters to attend to. I know the Poche has grown up. Hmm. Well, he is a genius and he is a member of my he's my cousin. I have another cousin that is chaste. Um Pandoleon Matter of France. And this is a Dionysus and Sinos, okay. Uh, yeah, I think we can do that. There. They could grant them long life and many children. Hmm, we definitely want to keep this. It's a nice piece. I never expected I would grow so close to Malik Abdul al Nur as I have done in the past few years. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man with only my best interest at heart. Really? Balancia. I don't like him. He likes me a lot, but I don't like him. Uh, I'm still not convinced. Or we become friends. I'm not convinced. I'm cynical, right? He wants something. Like an assurance that I won't attack him, for example. Ah. Uh. Um, okay. I have a son. Okay. Pomphilios. Pomphilios. Philippus. Yeah, because we have uh, Nikitas, right? Damian Philippos, I like it. Yeah. And we have an available dynasty legacy. Prestige for successful seduce games. That might be something we might want to try. My son learned Italian. Yeah, I'm not sure. More likely to get trade events when raiding. We're not raiding. Assertive rulers. That might be more, more like it. Or yeah, this one. This looks interesting. This short range duration, that's probably something that benefits us plus 
Vassals are less likely to join claimant faction and liberty factions. Let's do that. All right, and these are the sanctifications. Yeah, all right. Um, I did want to sanctify Carthage, right? Okay, let's do it. Adamite petition for mercy be gone. We gain a rival, okay. The Adamite. Yeah, but Lysa, you're far away. Come on. The holy site of Carthage is sanctified unto God. The holy site of Carthage has been redeemed. Satan's detritus has been swept from the holy church of God's Carthage. The broken idols of the infidel cast into oblivion. Joyful mummies, faithful, sing your praises. The smitten enemies of God lament. Their schemes frustrated. Their falsities shattered. New friends give you succor. New enemies plot their revenge. Let's strike them, all the desperate. Of the Mediterranean stands at the right hand of God to work heaven's will on earth. Uh, righteous zeal overflows me. Uh, I hear the singing of heaven rejoicing and become a wise woman. All the world shall be a church to God's mama's faith. I lose the trade content and I will become a sanctifier. Hmm, that might be something to uh, develop her character. She finally finds her goal in life. Spreading the faith, religious zeal. Right? Yeah, all the world shall be a church to God's mamaist faith. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Excellent. And we finished promoting culture in Keralis. So, ah, we're ambitious now instead of content. Well, that's quite a switch. I was thinking maybe we would get something like Zealous or... Right? But Ambitious? That is quite a switch. But, alright. She now knows what she wants. She wants to sanctify the world. And that means now here we can build a ground temple. Holy side of Carthage. I thought we would get the opportunity to build a grand temple, and I think this is the Cartagena. I think this is the place that it's supposed to be. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Holy sites. Do we have one more? No. It's still Napata. Can I? yeah? I would love to replace these with like Carthage, for example. Okay, so it doesn't quite work that way. Alright. Remote culture. 
Yeah, I think now is the time, as much as I want to promote our culture even more. Um, I think it is time to put our steward on uh, increasing development. So how are we doing in terms of development so far? So Panamos is 12, that's our capital. Neapolis is 18. Capua 21 because it's in the sphere of influence of Rome. Yeah, for this reason, it might make sense to move the capital to Neapolis, but I don't really want to. I think we should keep it uh, on an island in the Mediterranean. And it's just a matter of time before we can uh, develop that further. We'll catch up soon enough. Yeah. We'll catch up soon enough. Increased development in Panormos. There we go. And that is of our culture, right? And of our faith, so that's all good. Alright, let's see what's happening in our court. A flesh wound. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of uh, Aldo Brandino, a diplomat sent by my ally, King Everardo of Italia. By the immense quantity soaked up by my fine carpet, I can only assume he has been bleeding on this spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for this mess. I was defenestrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn on my journey to Banamos. However, as the rapscallion cushioned my fold, the diplomatic visit can continue. It will still be days until my blood loss is fatal. Guards force this man to see a physician. My calendar only has space next week, can you hold on? <laughs> He will bleed even more, you will have to buy a new carpet. Um, but I will lose stress because I'm uh, I'm sadistic, is that it? We can talk now about your leash is paying for my carpet. Um, yeah, force this man to see a physician, come on. And the physician cur cures the diplomat and we gain 100 diplomacy lifestyle experience. That is very nice. Alright. What I want is uh, a crown. I have temporarily uh, put the, uh, the Iron Crown of Lombardy there that I thought was somewhat appropriate, seeing as we took big bits out of Lombardy there. Um, but yeah. A crown for our queen would be very nice. So I think we should search for somebody who can make that. That means also we will have we need an antiquarian that, that for some reason we're not employing. Mavricius Parilos is a good one. Okay, let's k get him then to be our antiquarian. And we should invite some people who can uh, do more of that stuff. Yeah, advanced search, uh, advanced character search is really slow to start up. But it does have a lot of options, which is very nice. Okay, we want all inside diplomatic range, not a rule, not an air. Um, this doesn't really matter, adults, any, any, yeah, this is what we want, we want a crown, so that means we need a smith, I guess. I guess so. Religion doesn't really matter. Uh, 
physical traits don't matter. And I haven't messed with these, except I've used this to look for a court physician. Okay. Yeah. And we should sort by learning, probably. Alright, let us see. We have Chrysogony Ayalastos, who has a metalsmith, and she wants to forge Regalia. Uh, she wants to forge a crown. She's considered a master, yeah, but she doesn't like me. That means she doesn't want to come to my court. Regalia, a crown, very competent. Something wondrous. Most of them want uh, Regania. He is forging a crown. Hmm. I guess uh, we can try to convince Arya by uh, sending her a gift. She's inspired. That is a minus 50. Uh, apparently half the opinion. So even if it's 100, that's 50. Plus 30 for my lodging standards. Will not overcome the 100 there. Don't I invite like artisans or something to make me a crown? A scheme at court. My spy master has come to me with grave news why we do not yet know who someone is plotting to kill my courtier Christina. That is tragic. And my son Nikitas has been asking me for a toy boat for a long time and I told him, make one yourself. He responded he was fine with his current dedication to his studies. So, content again, or fickle, or trusting. Wow, there's a murderer on the loose, right? Or something. Okay, what is happening here? We have the extra mine, so we'll get more money. And... Uh, we'll wait with that. What, what else can we build here? We have no money. Not enough. Okay. Well, on that note, let's wrap up this episode for today. And uh, I'll see if I can find someone who is inspired to make a crown for me, at least with decent skill. And uh, we'll try to make some more money so we can upgrade more buildings. And that's it for today. Hope to see you next time.